All right, folks, good you guys, 88, we are back. Like everyone, case on Facebook. Let's head on to the second case of Century Mile. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Checkmate. So, I haven't even seen the preview for this thing. Um, I just got a job. Um, I know in the last one I said I was, I got on a call. Um, so, I got a job, started yesterday. So, that was a lot of fun. Senior Trooper Ace, the World Exhibition will be opening soon. Hello? Senior Trooper Ace, the World Exhibition will be opening soon. I hope to put the unpleasantries of the last room behind us and enjoy the day. The theme of the exhibition's first day is hobbies and entertainment. One of the inventors has created an anthropomorphic self-operating machine that plays chess. And I'm proud to say that my friend, Casper Rove, who happens to be the youngest chess master in the world, was invited to play against it. It's hard to believe that Rove was going to up against the first ever machine to play chess, the Chess Machong. And he and I have been playing chess games through letters for years. Surely a machine could never beat a human at chess, but either way, it will be a historic day and make no mistake. Ace, there's been another murder at the World Exhibition. They need you there right now. Another murder? Yes, a body has been found on the movie set there. You must hurry. Oh, brother. Oh, looks definitely like it's his friend. Let's do this. Thank you, everybody. Jeff Mazan looks like Watson. Aha, so we have a couple clues here. That one, you have the bloody paper. Obviously, you have a moose. There's a moose right here. Popcorn and a tentacle. Hoping I get a star. Oh no, is that Casper? He's been shot straight through the heart. Oh, Casper Rove, my friend, the world's youngest chess master. I can't believe that anyone would want to hurt him. Have you got anything that could explain why or how this happened? That bloody paper must be a clue, I agree. We need to retrieve the faded text on it. And you're right, Ace. Anything we find at this stage could be helpful. Could you piece this broken copper plate back together? What do you think to find out who did this to my young friend? Agreed. Agreed. So we're gonna actually have to wait a little bit because I gotta grab some stars. So I'll see. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This has been Pigeons88. Au revoir. All right, folks. Pigeons88. We are back. Let's uh, go on with this. Grab a bunch of stars. Has a bunch of great people watching the stream. It's uh, time to to head on. Who's designed? Hello, guys. Why, this metal plaque you piece together is a patent sign for the chess maton. It's the invention which was set to play a chess match with Casper. The plaque says a certain Celine Gorges owns the rights to the chess maton. We must ask her how this ended up on our crime scene. Interesting. I am doing well. New job. I got a new haircut. It's the last time we did this. Shaved. Looking good. Ooh. Some math. Well, that fitted paper you tested was an equation. It's a solution that scribbled equation death. Ace, no wonder it was covered in blood. I suggest that we take this mathematical dilemma to Charlie. Perhaps he'll understand it. Perhaps he will. What's up, Celine? Miss Celine Georges, we found the patent sign for your chess maton next to the body of Casper Rove. Do you have an idea how it arrived there? The body of Casper Rove? He's dead? C'est terrible. 
We'll play chess against my creation now. Only the best player in the world would do, and now he's dead. Well, your concern is touching, Miss George's, but you haven't answered our question. How did your patent end up on the crime scene? I've been working on that film set frequently. It's full of my inventions. Oh, well, Johannes, if you think I'm a suspect, you can have a look around my booth. I've got nothing to hide. We shall do that exactly, Ace. Let's have a look around this booth. Nice. That's what it is, an automaton booth. Makes sense. It's been, I've been live for 45 minutes. Pretty sweet. Oh, there it is. There's something we already know. Let's see, tie, sandwich, spider, satchel's new. And the bat. Hey, it's lava. Mio. Right, Ace, the initials on this bag are Casper Roves. My poor friend, I never thought the belongings would become clues for us to rummage through, but it must be done. What does it know you found? It says Casper, either way you lose. Well, that's a clear threat. I say you're right. Perhaps a logo on the paper might give us the name of the sender. Let's have a look at our archives. Interesting. Definitely found some clues. I guess this one of them is going to give us a suspect. Nope, this one. Industries. Nope. Wow. Stanley Sparks. Logo on the threat to cast belongs to the venture Stanley Spark. Excellent work, Ace. Heard us the Spock character, he owns Spock Industries. He's half inventor, half ruthless businessman. Or so say the papers. Ace, let's find why this Stanley Spock would threaten my friend. Oh, he looks like a dashing debonair. I have been playing Criminal Case for three and a half years. Started in... Um, actually almost four years started in summer of 2013 how sad to be looking through Casper's satchel when I think I shall never receive another chess puzzle from him quite right Ace I must stay focused who is the woman in the photograph you found in the bag I showed you the back of the photo her name is Colette Eckhart and she wrote Casper you are my champion see you at the expo forever yours forever yours this Colette says that does hint at some level of attraction between these two young people Funny, Casper never mentioned her. Either way, this message makes it clear Miss Eckhart is here at the exhibition. Very true, very true. Yeah, no, I did it like a year after CC was released. I think. I want to say maybe it was 2012. You guys have to look at my first video. Mr. Spock, soon Trooper Ace has found an unsettling note that you wrote to Casper Rowe. You were aware that he was murdered today. Yes, it is very sad to see such a young life gone so early that one day human chess players will be obsolete anyways. Well, what a strange notion. Why, pray tell, would you ever think of such a thing? Machines are the future, old chap. Soon, humans won't need to worry about such foolishness. Chess? Foolish? This is one of the highest intellectual pursuits a human can undertake. Humans can attain for lot, far loftier goals than shuttling little pieces of wood around a board, and with the help of machines, might I add. Besides, there's no way on earth that Casper Rove could have beat that automaton. Its mind is pure logic. And even if he did beat the machine, one day a, a machine will be a human at this game. At all games. And either way, he loses. That note was to be sure. Casper knew it. Well, I'm sorry that you hold this noble game and your fellow human beings in such low esteem, Mr. Spock. Yeah, how much you want to bet that uh, Isaac is the one who actually plays against him? Miss Eckhart, we were looking through the belongings of Casper Rove and found your photograph. Oh, Strawberry Blonde. I like redheads. Looking through the belongings, how dare you? Reminds me of Maddie. My dear, we are investigating this murder, and this is part of procedure if we were to find his killer. 
Casper, was he murdered? Oh, whatever shall I do with my champion? He is my reason for living. Dude, you're 20, you'll get over it. You will carry on with dignity and grace, which is all any of us can I do. Reminds me of Marina Romanov. Alright, so let's uh, speed up the laboratory stuff. Well, Ace, the equation you solved with your destined kit wouldn't normally have death as a solution. Usually the solution is R, which stands for the horizontal range of a projectile. The horizontal range of a projectile, and Casper was shot. Ace, this is proof that Ron to the killer. Yeah, and, yeah, and they use science to plan their murder. Physics, to be exact. Killer who knows their physics. They may think they're smart, Ace, but we're smarter. They'll need quite a lot of horizontal range to escape you. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, you'll live. It's 20 years old. It's nothing. Hello, Ace. Isaac, I'm sorry if that you found your friend in this state. I've done my best to get as much information as I could to help. The cause of death is going to sound weird, but your friend died from a bishop piece to the heart. A bishop piece? Are you saying someone used it as a bullet? Well, no. The velocity needed to send a chest piece through skin, fat, and muscle greatly exceeds anything a gun could have achieved. This had to have been a special propulsion device, perhaps something an inventor has cooked up for the invention. Noted. We will keep a vigilant eye for any propulsive inventions. You may want to keep an eye open for anyone who seems particularly alert. The bishop piece I extracted from Castor Rook's heart held traces of espresso grind. Your killer enjoys strong Italian coffee. Well, Ace, a case of the caffeine jitters will be the least of the killer's worries now. And if only I had coffee. I don't like coffee. Casper Rove, such a brilliant mind, and gone so young. Some miscreant shot him right through the heart with a bishop chess piece. Very thought. I understand Miss Eckhart's heartache, but you're quite right, Ace. I must not be swayed by sentimentality. We have been fooled by doting ladies in the past. Ah, and as for those inventors, Stanley Spock and Celine Georges, we ought to keep a close eye on them, claiming that machines might replace humans as chess masters. Balderdash. Ace, are you ready to go to the World Exhibition opening? Wait, they're going forward with the opening ceremony, but we're in the middle of a murder investigation. Runter. So, I'll see you guys in chapter two. This is my Genius 88. Over and out.